Okay guys, you know what? Today's rant, yes we're doing it again, I'm pissed off again. Uh, it's funny how I have spurts of these where I get like, I do multiple videos like this and then I, I cool down. Usually it happens when stuff at work stresses me out, etc. and it brings the, some of the smaller things, even though this is more of a long time build up and it really just... Uh, and basically today we are ranting about the, the stupidity, the pointlessness of Google Plus, okay? It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Nobody likes it, nobody uses it, yet it obviously it's been forced down our throats, like everything Google does. Now, why am I doing about, why am I talking about this now? Why am I, why am I, you know, this, the, the impl implementation of Google Plus on our channels happened, uh, I, I, I don't know how long ago now, but if, I'd say at least a month or two ago. Um, but yeah, uh, when I first found out that we were going, you know, Google Plus would be mandatory, I wasn't surprised because everything they do, they say, oh, you can try out the new one. If you don't like it, go back to the old one. What's the point of going back to the old one? You might as well change right now because they're going to force it Wait later on. They always fucking do that. And I knew it was with Google Plus, so what I did was I immediately, as soon as I saw that they said, oh, you can try out the new, uh, Google, you can link your Google Plus now, just keep in mind, blah, blah, blah. I linked it immediately because I knew I'd be able to prepare for it better if I, since I linked my Google Plus account at that time, you know, I wouldn't be that way when it came and it was forced, I wouldn't be all tr scrambling, trying to make a change, you know what I mean? I was, I was ready to go, I, um, I sorted what I needed to sort and we were ready, boom, there. Now when everyone, when the Google Plus was dropped on us permanently, I was prepared, okay? Now, there's, here's the thing, as soon as I, tra as I became a Google Plus member, or not a Google Plus member, um, as soon as I linked Google Plus with my account, um, I, it created a new page. I had an old page linked when I was trying it out, but if I went to that old page, basically all the information from YouTube, my YouTube channel will be erased. And I'm talking subscribers, videos, the works. It's really fucking stupid how Google implements this shit. So I made a new account based on my YouTube channel, okay? And um, at first, everything was normal, no problems whatsoever. Um, I, I never used Google Plus. It was there for people who did. <clears throat> so people followed me on my Google Plus and so on and so forth. Um, there is a bit of a problem with Google Plus, okay? Um, not, not, okay, one of the big, okay, I'm going to mention some small stuff. One of the smaller things you would say that's Google Plus bound or whatever is the fact that it's one of the most confusing things I've ever seen. Like, videos are insanely just thrown out all around. Sorry, just gotta check something real quick. Anyway, um, when you like for me who uploads stuff frequently, if you go to my Google Plus page, you'll see videos like this, like one, two, three, one, two, three, like across the page, like and, and they're not straight, they're not organized into uploaded videos, no columns. It's like this. It's a swoop, like that. One video, another video, another video. And they're all from days sequentially. So basically you have this stupid shaped thing going all the way down the page of everything I've liked, everything I've commented on, everything I've uploaded. It's a fucking mess, okay? So anyone who can make sense of Google+, Plus, you miss the videos, any posts, just because I upload as frequently as I do comparatively to most YouTubers, right? So regardless, like I said, if you don't like it, just don't use it. And I haven't been using it. Now, the part where it irks me, where it pisses me off, is when it starts affecting my channel, okay? And I found this out the hard way, and I'm fucking pissed at Google for this stupid implementation that makes absolutely no sense. All right, let me give you a bit of a backstory here, a small backstory. Anyone who's been following me long enough uh, would know that prior to this Google forcement, what I would do to implement, um, or sorry, to, to share with my subscribers what I'll be working on, or what's coming up, or what I'm currently working on, whatever, would be um, a, um, I would I would put my channel title set to my name and then like a, an arrow pointing to the event that I'm doing. In this case, let's just talk about current events. I'm working on KOTOR. So it's a Dan Q8000 KOTOR uh, or KOTOR finished or however many parts it is, etc., etc., right? And as I update things, they're bigger things that people want to know about. That way when they see my channel, like, oh, he's working on this. I want to go take a look at that. You see what I'm saying? Instead of just the name Dan Q8000, you don't know what he's working on. You know what I'm saying? It's an attention grabber. And I've been using that for a while now. And what it would, before Google Plus though, uh, it would just change this channel title. It wouldn't change your account name. But since it's linked with Google Plus, 
when you change that name or that channel title, it changes the name of your channel as well. So when I comment, it'll I'll, I'll, or reply or whatever, or upload, it actually says under my channel name, DanQ8000, then whatever I'm working on. Now, this is what annoys me the most. This is what pisses me off, okay? Google Plus did not, as soon as like the update went down, they did, and I made a new account, they didn't get me to sign anything. You know those terms of use? There was no terms of use. Uh, I, I mean, if there was, there was, I, I seriously, usually I remember, I, I look through the terms of use, especially on Google, because you don't know what kind of bullshit they're going to pull. I don't remember getting a terms of use, okay? So I never had a chance to read their terms and conditions of their site because I never got it, okay? Now, since I don't use Google+, Plus, I'm not affected, so I figured it's there, I'm not going to use it. Now, the, the problem is I continued to use uh, this naming system on my channel uh, with Google+. Plus. And let me tell you guys right now, if you do that, don't. It's a big fucking mistake if you do it. Like I said, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it's a problem for me, and I think it's ridiculous, all right? Now, here's where it gets annoying. Without telling you, without warning you or anything, Google only permits that you have three name changes a year. It used to be every two years. Then they reworded it, again, not telling anyone, rewording it to once per calendar year. And a calendar year is any three times from January to December. January 1st to December 31st, any of those days. You could use three name changes in the last three years of December. It doesn't matter. It's a calendar year, so it'll get reset in the next year, okay? So, basically, I changed my name three times. On the third time, they didn't tell me this is your last one for the year. They don't tell you that, right? There's like, oh, no, too bad. You try and change it, and then you go to the terms of use and see, oh, we limit you to three name changes every calendar year. Well, thanks for fucking telling me. If I knew that, I would have changed it back to just playing DanQ8000 without having to worry about it, you know what I mean? But instead, you get stuck with this stupid title. Right now, it's set to uh, DanQ8000 PS4 Xbox One launch titles. You guys know damn right that that's not the case anymore. Uh, that cha that name ch was changed around no in November, like November 22nd when Xbox One came out, I edited it. That was the last time I edited my fucking name, okay? So I'm like, fuck, that sucks, but we're getting towards the end of the year, so I'll change it once January comes around. January 1st comes around, I changed the name. Sorry, you've changed it recently. What the fuck? You said I could change it every count once, three times calendar year. So I do it again. I, um... I, I wait a few days just to give them a little bit. Maybe their servers are just pieces of shit or whatever. Wait till about the fifth, sixth. I try daily. Still no dice. And I read this before, but again, they're very vague and they don't tell you this. And it says as well under the terms of use about name changes, we will not allow you to change your name once you've reached a certain amount of followers. Thanks for fucking sharing that information. Thank you. So you get three changes for the rest of your account forever. Isn't that fucking bullshit? So basically, without warning you, they, like, as soon as I signed up for Google+, Plus, by the time I've changed my name the third time, I was probably already past the designated time, I was, uh, uh, like, the designated amount of followers, you can change your name. All right? Now, again, <coughs> excuse me, how was I supposed to know this? If you go on the YouTube, if you go on the Google+, Plus uh, Terms and Service, it doesn't tell you how many followers until you've passed it. It doesn't tell you. So how the fuck are you supposed to know how long you can have followers on that page until until they, they say no more name changes? Like, what the fuck? You know, Google is so stupid. They do whatever the fuck they want. And you know what's annoying about this? They're the company, they're the kind of company who does this, and they've actually done that. They'll get tons of feedback from people who say they hate the new layouts, they hate this, they hate the f Google+, Plus. they don't fucking want it, yet... At the same time, they will just um, force it upon you, and then they'll go out of their way and say, oh, billions of people start using Google+, Plus because we don't have a choice. It's not because your system's fantastic. It's because you make us. You have that ability to monopolize the internet in that manner, and therefore we're forced to use your shitty service, which fucking sucks. Nobody likes it. The only reason we're using it, and it appears to seem to get a lot of attention and, and people are using it, is because you fucking make us. We can't even comment on our channels, let alone, like, take a shit without using Google+. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything you do uses Google+. So, obviously, 
you're going to get a lot of traffic in Google Plus when you make us, you stupid fucking idiot corporation Google. How stupid are you? Like, I don't understand how they don't get it. So now, basically, I am fucked. I'm stuck with this giant ass title, this giant ass name. Like I said, it's not a channel breaker, but it's frustrating because I'm trying to run a business here. And not only that, but I have an overly long title with misinformation. It's outdated information and they won't let me change it back. And here's what's so funny about this. My name takes up less code than this full name. So if they, they're, they're basically fucking themselves not letting me change it. While it may be minor in comparison, they probably have tons of servers. You know what I mean? They have to, they're a rich company, they can afford it. It's still funny how they look at it that way. It just goes to the fact that they don't want to do it. They're lazy. It has nothing to do with the fact, oh, we can't change it anymore. Sure you fucking can. What's stopping you? You write the code, change the fucking code, and that way we can change our names back. They, a lot of people are having this problem. Except Google is making people use their normal names. Like their first and last name legally. Whoa, sorry, I'm banging my thing. This thing almost fell. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Um, but people are like, basically their private names are being displayed all over the internet and Google won't let them change it. Fuck you, Google. Nobody wants that shit. And I sure as fuck don't want my name to be this for the rest of my life. So I started looking up, um, various ways to change it. And a guy found a way and it worked for him. Doesn't work for me. So I've tried that way. I waited the two weeks. It's basically, it's a long story. Uh, but he, he showed, he even proved that it worked. But I, I think it depends how many followers you have. That being said, is it possible maybe? Is it potentially possible that if you guys were to unfollow me on Google Plus and bring that number, I'm pretty sure it's 500 followers. I think I'm at about 14. Although I'm not sure how Google Plus works. Like, so I looked at one, it said I had 800. And then all the, at the same time, I had like 1500 with the pluses, you know, to plus one this page or whatever. Um, I'm not sure what the fault, how many falls I actually have because there's different numbers. It makes no sense because it's fucking Google plus. It makes no sense. I'm, I'm sorry. I just hate it. It's so annoying. And you, like, here's the thing too. You can request for an exception, right? You can make a request and it'll send it directly to YouTube or Google. Sorry. I shouldn't say that. Uh, make it direct to Google and it'll basically say, I would like it. This, my name change, make an exception because usually for businesses and this is a business. Even though people may not like me to view it as a business, that's what it is. It generates revenue. I treat it like a business. I, it, it's a business to me. So when I'm being branded incorrectly, you know, like it, it looks bad on my part, okay? And yes, the Google would probably easily say, well, you changed it. You didn't have to change it. Well, you made me change it. Your new policies without telling anyone the consequences are fucked up. And the fact that you didn't show me the terms and conditions before this, before you just made an account for me, like, fuck you, you know, like, cause here's the difference. You have an actual Google plus account and you have a Google plus page. Okay. They're very different. The Google plus account is your name and it goes under your account. You use it to sign into Gmail. You use it to sign into basically Google Chrome, anything Google related. That's your G that's what you use the Google plus account, but you have a page made for your YouTube channel. Okay. And that page is what's not letting me change my name anymore. So I've submitted multiple. I've even had my full screen contact. That's the company I'm signed with. I've even had him. He sent them off one and they still haven't let me change my fucking name back. And I'm giving them a reason. I'm like, I want it shortened back to my regular Danku 8000 and I will never change it ever again. Okay. Cause it's, it was just a thing to make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. But since I no longer use that system. There's no, like, since it's pointless now, I would never do it. I'd rather just have Dan Q8000. It's shorter. It looks better. It's my company name. That's just the way it should be. Okay. But it, for some reason, Google wants people to fucking hate them. Ask anybody. Nobody likes Google plus nobody likes Google as a company. The only reason we use their fucking shit is because it's so convenient. It's easy to use. It's the most popular thing out there. That's why we use it. But they, they think they're winning this popularity contest because of the stuff they do. Nobody likes you, Google. Everyone fucking hates you. I fucking hate you. You've been the worst company to work for. I've actually been signed directly to Google AdSense before I got signed to full screen. And working directly with AdSense is the worst fucking thing I've ever had to do in my life. You make a video. 
I've actually had my own videos. Sorry, sliding again. I'm sorry. Oops, oops, sorry. I'm sorry. Usually this works really well, but I'm banging around. So, I've had my personal videos, vlogs like this, get removed. The ads removed because I apparently don't own a copyright to my own fucking face. I'm not kidding you. I've had people, I've had Google shut down my AdSense for bullshit reasons. One for copyright of videos that were like this. Like for example, do you guys remember DQ8 HD? That was a vlog only channel. I made briefly to try and separate it for those people who don't like vlogs. But that channel, my AdSense account associated with that channel got shut down because they said I had copyright issues as well as inappropriate clicks, meaning uh, apparently I was the one spamming the, the, the ad button so I'd get paid, even while it was probably a fan just trying to help me out. You see what I'm saying? It's the most flawed fucking system I've ever encountered. They don't let you, they, they hurt you immensely in every way. Like, oh, we support our YouTubers. No, you fucking don't. You support maybe 10 people on the internet, the ones that give you immense amount, insane amounts of money, okay? Like, it's fucking bullshit, and I'm so sick and tired of Google shoving their way around, doing what they want, but it's annoying because they can, and they'll get away with it because of the size of their company. They make so much money, it does not matter what we think. Being small, like, I may be almost at 100,000 subscribers, and that doesn't mean shit to them. Unless you have millions and millions of subscribers, you ain't worth jack shit. You weren't worth it. So that's just the way it is. Now, like I said, this is, this is probably temporary. Um, I might I might be able to get my channel name changed later on um, if they change their terms of use or if maybe if I can find some method or if they actually listen to what I have to say and they actually will let me change it by the appeal I applied. But yet I have not received an, a, a thing back. And they said they did say though that they won't they won't reply to you unless like they won't need to contact you unless they um, need further information. So basically, you know how long it takes for Google to get through all this shit. Like, you know, go through any complaint, appeal, what have you. So I could be waiting weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks just to get nothing happen. I don't know if they even got it. You know what I mean? It's the worst system. There's no confirmation email. There's nothing saying we're looking at your shit. There's nothing. They don't care. They don't want to deal with you. Why do you think there's no such thing as a customer service number? Like, they don't want to. You know what's funny about that? I actually have... Google's direct number for their headquarters in Los Angeles. I'm dead serious. I have it. Or is it Los Angeles now? I think they were. They moved. Regardless, they're in California. I have their direct phone number that you can actually call them and get the fucking front desk. I'm not kidding you. And you can be like, direct me to this department. And you could ask him personally to do something. I'm not kidding you. I've actually done it once. But I don't like doing it because I live in Canada and the long distance charges would be fucking ridiculous. You see what I'm saying? Because it is a direct line to, it is a, I think it's LA. I don't know where it is, but it's that area code or, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, the area code for that. So, but like if they don't want to be contacted, well, there's ways of us trying to let them know that their number's out there. It's not, it's not a secret. You guys can probably find their numbers as well. But I'm just saying they don't have a 1-800 number that you can call. They don't have a service company. They just have email. They have bots replying to you. Fucking bots. Bots. I don't want to talk to a computer. I want someone to help me. I don't want a bot to pick up an algorithm and just block my video or block this or remove this. Like they shit all over everybody. They don't care and I'm sick of it. So anyways, I'm gonna keep trying to change my name but if in case you're wondering why it's like that and I haven't been doing it, you know, everyone, people are probably like, Dan normally updates these things. It won't let me I, and it's ugly. I know I hate it. I wish I could just go back to Danku 8000. Nothing's really affected. Vit, like my channel's still the same, everything's the same. It's just this hideously long name that's spewing off misinformation. And you know what else about the the appeal the appeal thing where you try and get it back? You put your name, right? Your your channel name, what it currently is now, or I should say your Google Plus page name, what it currently is now, and what you'd like to change it to, and your reasoning. Not just that though, um, but they also asked for, and you don't. It's optional but it validates your request apparently. And I think it's fucking horseshit. I don't trust Google as far as I can throw the company, right? Um, they want you to attach a file to that appeal that would speed up your process. And basically what it is, you, t you basically fax them, or sorry, you, you make a copy of a utility bill, 
um, a pay stub, um, what else? A bank statement, a uh, credit card statement. They want you to attach a copy of your personal records. It's none of your fucking business, Google. Fuck you. Like, why would I give you my bank statement? Why would I give you my credit card statement? I'm not going to do that. Like, oh, you can block out financial information. Well, then why would you want it? Why would you want my account statement if you want me to block all this shit out? As I'm basically giving you the exact same information via digital signature. Yet you want me to show you, why do you want my account number? Why do you want this? Fuck you, that's not happening. So I'd rather just hold on to the name than Google get my fucking information and sell it to the highest bidder. Because that's the kind of company they are. They'll put that in advertising and use it against you. So I'm never going to do that. Fuck that. The worst company I've ever seen in my life, This these fucking guys. But anyway, I'm trying to appeal it. If anyone has any ideas, that'd be great. Post in the comments. I'd really appreciate it because I'd like to get this re reversed. Like I said, I tried one method already. Uh, basically, what you do is you make another account, another Gmail account, and you transfer ownership of your current account to that account because you can have managers for your account now. And that account, because it's under new rules, you'll be able to change the page. But then I'm wondering if I can do that but I have too many followers. So if anybody knows anything about Google Plus and how it works in this regard, like the name situation, please let me know. Even get in contact with me in a, in a message, if you do know, a private message, just so I can figure this out because I, I just want to figure it out. And if that means getting you guys to unfollow me on Google Plus, so be it. But if that if you unfollow me on Google Plus, does that mean you unsubscribe from me on YouTube? I don't know. Everything's fucking linked. Everything is shit. So... Please shed some light. Anyone who has an idea. If, if that's the case, and I have to ask you guys to unfollow me until I get below that um, follower level, then so be it. I'll ask for that. But for now, let's just see what we can do. Anyone who knows anything, like I said, leave me a comment, post, uh, give me a message, anything you may know about Google+, Plus, ways to get around this, I'd be really appreciative. Because I've also tried looking on, on, on YouTube itself to try and find videos on how to get around it. And it's funny because people... Some people still have the ability to temporarily disconnect their Google Plus from their account. I don't have that ability anymore. It won't let me do it, probably because I have too many subscribers or too many followers on that page. Which is why they're like, oh, no, you're locked in. Fuck you, buddy. You know what I mean? Like, that's all they, they treat us like shit. I'm sick of it. So anyways, guys, please, if you can help me out with this, I'd appreciate it. But if you don't know anything else, that's fine. But I just figured I'd let you know what's going on with that. Um... I, I hate Google, man. This is such a terrible site. If anything, I'd jump over to Daily Motion. I have an account there, believe it or not, but um, Daily Motion's too small and no one's ever on that site. That's the problem with all these videos, um, or sorry, all these video sharing websites. They're too small and compared, they're like a speck can, can, compared to YouTube. Um, it's just the way it is. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for putting up with my rants, but uh, that's the way it goes. Sometimes I have to air out my feelings on a particular issue but you guys love it anyway so thanks for watching guys take it easy have a good one i'm gonna get started on more gameplay i have more stuff coming for you besides kotor thanks for your comments in the game update i posted i have ideas of what i'm gonna play this month now and i do appreciate it so take it easy guys we'll see you very soon for some more gameplay all right take it easy